and welcome to another exciting episode of the property show merry christmas today we go down memory lane featuring the most sought after projects this season expert conversations and interior design trends shifting the landscape as well as inspiring home ownership stories that have encouraged us if you must go the right route, find the good people who are able to advise you, look through the right channels. If you have to go through property show like I did from when you're campus and keep dreaming and keep challenging yourself, then that's what you should do. Sit back, relax, and let's get started. As always, there is something for everyone. To start us off on this exciting episode of the most sought after developments this season is Gitanga duplexes. This rare collection of spacious and elegantly appointed two level four bedroom duplexes within a private gated complex are located eight kilometers away from the CBD. They come with everything you need in a home. And if you're looking to acquire the best in contemporary urban living, this is the place for you. Let's find out more. Gitanga duplexes are a modern development located in the heart of Lavington off Gitanga Road. Privileged by its exquisite design and opulent finishes, this elegant residence offers 36 four bedroom ensuite duplexes. Accommodation includes lower level, spacious living room, dining room, fitted kitchen with detached pantry, guest bedroom on select units, doobie area with washing machine provisions, and exterior storage for gas tanks. Upper level, spacious master ensuite bedroom with walk-in closet, two bedrooms ensuite, TV or family room which can be turned into a fifth bedroom. Salient features include two car parking spaces per unit, low maintenance fully glazed UPVC windows, balconies with panoramic views, carbo paved driveways, guardhouse, underground and overhead water tanks. Next, residential units located just steps within a mall. This elegantly designed unit tick every box blending seamlessly the live, work and play environment. Welcome to Freedom Heights Apartments. Freedom Heights is located along Langata Road near Wilson Airport. This development comprises of nine blocks of 252 units that consist of two, three, and four bedroom apartments. The units sit on a plinth area of 101, 128, and 153 square meters respectively. Accommodation features include spacious lounge area with a large bay window, spacious dining area, kitchen with top and bottom cabinets offering enough storage, common cloakroom, master ensuite bedroom, laundry area, prepaid gas system and intercom. Other amenities include 24-7 manned gate with a perimeter wall, electric fence and CCTV cameras, ample parking, carbro paved driveways, landscaped gardens, safe and secure children's play area, fire alarm system, modern lifts, backup generators, solar water heating system, boho, water purification plant, and a biodigester. This development has its own mall where residents can do their shopping and can also get banking services. The price guide for this apartment is as follows. Two bedroom goes for 11.2 million Kenya shillings. Three bedroom goes for 13.6 million Kenya shillings and 
Four bedroom goes for 15.9 million Kenya shillings. The project is complete and ready for occupation. Another project that has been sought after this season is Ken Pipe Gardens. It comes with a combination of traditional architecture with modern designs. The icing on the cake is the rent to own model. What does that mean? It's a step between renting and owning a home. The rent to own model includes signing an agreement and committing to pay monthly rent for a specific period of time. The agreements provide clear guidelines on when the ownership will be transferred. My only caution, please enter such agreements with reputable companies. Let's hear more. Located two kilometers from Nairobi Namanga Highway, Camp Pipe Gardens are tastefully designed gated community comprising of 101 units of three and four bedrooms, master en suite with a detached servant's quarter. This project is completed and ready for occupation. The accommodation features include an entry porch, a spacious living area with a door leading to private garden, a sizable dining area, kitchen fitted with up and down cabinets, on your way to the first floor, there is a spacious staircase with large windows which provide natural light. This floor comprises the master bedroom, which is en suite with wardrobes for his and hers. The other two bedrooms share a common cloakroom. The common amenities include 24-7 manned gate with an electric fence, children play area, internal live fences, cabra paved driveways with street lights, ample parking, well-manicured lawns, a borehole, and each house has a 1,000-litre tank for enough water storage, solar water heating system, and water treatment plant. Next, Bandari Apartments located in the most sought after South Sea neighborhood and very accessible to the CBD. This project offers charming living. It comes with impeccable designs, spacious rooms, high-end finishes, and a competitive price tag, inspiring a new wave of living. Here is more. Bandari Apartments offer the privacy of community living with high-level security. The development comprises of three blocks of 198 three-bedroom units. The apartments come in two sizes, middle units of 168 square meters, while the corner apartments have size of 171 square meters. Accommodation features include spacious lounge come dining opening to the balcony, Open plan kitchen fitted with MDF high and low level cabinets and granite worktop, pantry, laundry area, visitors cloakroom, all bedrooms are en suite and fitted with MDF wardrobes, en suite domestic staff quarter. Salient features include perimeter wall, cabra paved driveways, ample parking, two high speed lifts, common areas power backup, landscaping, children's play area, underground and overhead storage water tanks, internet and MATV connectivity, main and borehole water supply and solar water heating.
another sought after project this season is the Bead Gardens located in Nasi River. This project has everything you need in a modern home. 24 7 mount gate with an electric fence perimeter wall, individual gardens. The kitchen is another winner. It's the true heart of this home. Two parking slots per house and a dedicated children's play area. Who wouldn't want children playing within the compound? This project provides everything you need in a gated community. Take a look. The Bead Gardens is a gated community consisting of 100 units of four bedrooms all on suite missionettes. The estate is set on five acres of land and each unit has a built area of 154.1 square meters. This development is set in Athi River and cuts across all spheres of prospective homeowners with stylish architectural design for living. Accommodation features. The ground floor consists of an entrance hallway providing privacy to living spaces and a transition into the house. Open plan living area with a large sliding door that leads to a private garden. Fully fitted separate kitchen with top and bottom cabinetry, a door leading to a washing area and an ensuite DSQ. A Vista's cloakroom, an ensuite guest room for privacy of the guests. On your way to the first floor, we have a beautiful staircase that leads to the bedrooms. All the bedrooms are en suite, fitted with wardrobes, and the master bedrooms come with a balcony and shower cubicles. Other features in the development include 24-hour manned gate for security, perimeter wall with electric fencing, street lighting and generator for communal areas, children's play area, a borehole for ample water supply, solar water heating systems, ample parking for homeowners and guests, cabro driveways, and a shopping center. This project is in close proximity to shopping malls, schools, and recreational areas. The price for this development is 11.5 million Kenya shillings. Another top conversation held this season is our upskill turnkey solution for modern living. This product is for plot owners looking to build a dream home. And all you have to do is, number one, visit our offices and meet our consortium and pick a design of your choice from our architectural designs. Secondly, have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with our legal counsel. This will jumpstart the due diligence process. Thirdly, a conversation with our QS and project consultants to confirm the plot layout, materials, logistics, and the final price point. Finally, financing. Currently, we work with different financial institutions who are ready to jumpstart this journey. With all this covered, construction commences and the process is expected to be completed within the year. Just give us a call or visit our offices and let's get started. Are you targeting? to own a piece of the real estate pie in 2022, then you're in the right place. Every Sunday, catch fresh investment options available in the market. Today, we are capturing most sought after projects and expert conversations shaping the landscape. Next, 
Let's hear from Jubilee Insurance and Stima Sako. In a nutshell, just give us a breakdown of the insurance sector. The insurance sector plays an important role in the economy. Probably we are uh, the lesser cousin of the banks. The banks have demonstrated a lot of success over the years. The insurance industry has been more mute, but both of them complement each other as a financial service. We in the insurance industry are in the business of mobilizing savings, just like the banks, but we add a value on top of it, which is managing the risk, that uncertainty. So the principle of insurance is in the event that there is an unusual, unexpected event, we have somebody to run to, to then compensate you, to bring you to what you were before the risk occurred. That is the whole essence of insurance. And what does Jubilee Insurance offer? Jubilee Insurance is the oldest insurance company uh, in Kenya. We are now 84 years old. Wow and uh, we are doing well. We are also the most profitable insurer in East and Central Africa. So, and we are in five countries, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, and Mauritius. So we are the largest composite insurer in the region and we continue to contribute. We are also a listed company. So we are listed in uh, Kampala Stock Exchange, Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange, and Nairobi Securities Exchange. So we are offering uh, our ownership across the region to anybody who wishes. So if you want to be own a piece of Jubilee, just walk to your stockbroker or go to the exchange and buy our shares. I would encourage broad ownership of this successful company. Break down your values, your mission and your attributes. Okay. Jubilee is very clear in its uh, value proposition to our customers and uh, so our, our vision as a company is to manage uncertainty. We are in the business of managing risk and so our vision is very clear that if you come to us, you are actually handing over risk management to us. And our mission therefore is to provide the products that support the management of that uncertainty. And we have a series of products and we'll discuss what those products are. Mm -hmm. We are also supported by a very strong value system. We have four core values as Jubilee. Okay, the first one is integrity. And we continue to promote integrity. Jubilee founded the Blue Company Project, which is encouraging companies to do things legally, within the law, and with utmost integrity. And that is one value system that we are very proud of as Jubilee. The second one is passion. We do things passionately. We reach out to our customers. And wherever we are, we want to demonstrate to our customers that we understand our products and we give you the truth about those products so that then you can gladly purchase. And we do it with a lot of enthusiasm. The third one is excellence. We really pride ourselves as Jubilee. For us to have survived 84 years of existence, we always strive for excellence and higher ideals. And the fourth one is teamwork. We do things this with our agents, with our brokers, with our customers, with our employees, with our shareholders, all of us working together to create value within our ecosystem. Thank you so much for having us yet again yeah. to talk about this great institution, Stima Sako. Thank you so much for having me in your show, yet again. Kindly break down who is Stima Sako and where are you taking us as Kenyans? 
Um, Stima Sacco has been in existence for the last 47 years. Um, we are the second largest Sacco in, in Kenya, by asset base. And again, if you are to look at the cooperative world, um, in Africa, uh, Kenya is ranked number one. So by that uh, presumption also, it means we are the second largest Sacco in Africa. For the 47 years we've been in existence, our current membership is uh, slightly above 148,000. We have an asset base of 42 billion shillings. Last year, we generated an income of 5.88 B. And one of the key things to remember about we as a financial institution is that first and foremost, we are a cooperative and a circle, a savings and credit cooperative, a deposit taking circle. And that truly means that in terms of our customers are not really customers, they are our owners, they are our members, our owners, uh, they've put a share capital in it. And in the amount of money we generated last year, uh, from the shareholding that they held with us, we gave a return of 14%, uh, which is a quite a huge return. In addition to that, the deposit portfolio, we gave 10.75%, um, again a very huge return as well. So our role has always been, as a financial institution, yes, it's not just about profit, it is profit plus people. So it's really about the profit we make and how are we able to take it back to our membership, to the people who own the society. And uh, our mission obviously is to empower members for life. And we're hoping through this discussion, as we elaborate more of what we do, we'll be able to demonstrate to you what Timo Sako is actually doing for the membership. One of the key areas I have mm. seen that you have plugged in is the affordable housing sector. Mm. What are you doing with the affordable housing sector and mm. what was the rationale for mm. you to start that product? Our link here is through KMRC. We are an equity shareholder of the Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company. Again, we were amongst, if not the first circle, to actually join. So there are 11 circles. Um, there are, if I'm not wrong, eight banks and one microfinancial institution. And as equity shareholders, uh, it means that we are now able to tap into that long-term funding we are not able to get. Now, KMRC has been a game changer for us because it has enabled the likes of World Bank, the Africa Development Bank, to pump money through the Treasury into KMRC and then into other circles. In the past, that would have been a pipe dream. It would not have worked. So the way, therefore, we've tied it is to say, what is this big idea about affordable housing? What is the big discussion on affordable housing in Kenya? And what role do we play? Now, have we been funding housing? Absolutely, absolutely we have. But the key question is, how do you formalize that? How do I truly say that if you come to Stima today and take a normal loan, then really that loan went to build a house or to buy a house? So we had to come up with very formal structure. Yes, in terms of the products, we have a 20 to 25 year, two loans actually. We are targeting both those in the business income, and those who have uh, salaried. So we have a 20-year facility and a 25-year facility. Uh, one is at 9%, the other is at 9.5%. Single digit below 10%. It's, it's single digit. Again, the first time we've been able to do that, and you have also to look at, even on normal products, our cheapest loan has been at 12% on a reducing balance. So to be able to come in at 9%, which is 3% points less, I mean, it's quite remarkable. Six years ago, I would not have thought that is a reality. And all I need to be is a member of the circle. Absolutely. The expert segment is where we delve and unpack the real estate industry. Next week, catch another exciting episode with topics that have shifted the real estate landscape this season. For a short break coming up the property news the accessory sports inspiring home ownership conversations and so much more our digital platforms are open let's continue chatting don't go away we'll be right back after the break welcome back the property show continues Today, we go down memory lane, featuring most sought after projects and conversations shaping the landscape. Next, let's hear what's trending in the world of interior design.
The main factors in interior design is uh, lighting, the functionality of the space, the budget and the style that you need to achieve before you embark on any interior design project. We normally advise a client to involve an interior designer when you have the construction plans. But you can work either way, either engage an interior designer in the beginning with your architect and then uh, later if you have a structure, if you had begun the project already, you can engage an interior designer because we work both ways. When this particular client approached me, they wanted a very calm yet sophisticated uh, space and that's where they left me at. So and then I discovered talking to the client that they like a lot of grey and that's why we decided to put um, grey curtains with a very bright sheer and then we opted for this light grey for the couch and then also to help with tying in all together we used a very bold dark grey so it also helps to calm the, t the much brightness in the room. Also to add a bit of sophistication, we opted for gold and uh, silver decorations that's in the throw pillows, in our deco items like this tray. And um, many a times we advise clients to not lean themselves in too much gold or too much silver. Tying them in all together helps with the texture and it's good for the eye. Coming into the dining area, we have this curtain which is very light, which is breaking from the very dark and bold grey. Uh, and as you can see, we have a very bold mirror. So having a mirror in your spaces helps you to create a bigger space even if it's a very small dining area, a very small living room area. If you have a big mirror like this helps you to accentuate the space and elevate it. And then we have this very not so bold but a very low hanging pendant. So it helps to bring the ceiling down again because everything is high like the curtains are high then we need to bring something that is comfortable to the eye and also uh, functional for lighting in the dining area. So for every project, there are very unique aspects that we need to put into and considering uh, the client's taste and client's budget. So the client at the end of the day wanted a very cozy home with a bit of glam and sophistication and we're able to achieve this through various items and was very budget friendly. And it's important to note that every project you engage an interior designer, you're guaranteed value for money. And this can help you to achieve and translate the ideas that you have into the space that you desire. MN Home and Interiors is a company that aims to provide services that transform your space from being cluttered to creating a system where everything has a place in your home. We specialize in home products. Our products include fridge tupperwares, drain boards, white storage baskets, pantry drawers, lazy susans, and mostly our fridge stackable containers. It's always important to have an organized space as it's easier to clean, easier to access anything you need. Our stackable shoe boxes in which come in the large size or the small size. When you purchase the shoe box, it comes in three different pieces which are easy to assemble. We have the base, the top piece, and the front cover. The front cover helps by keeping dust away from your shoes. From the shoe box, now we have 
our toy storage containers, which you can keep your children's toys in. The containers come in various different colors, blue, green, orange, or two types of pink. Next, we have a variety of different fridge containers with different designs. For example, we have our egg container, the large and the small, in which this one holds 14 eggs and this one holds 12 eggs. Next, we have our fridge and freezer friendly, in which you can choose to keep your vegetables and your produce. We also have pantry drawers, in which you can keep your extra stock of groceries or your children's snacks. We also have a Lazy Susan that spins around for easy access of whatever products you use, you put in here. You can also use your Lazy Susan to display your cosmetics or your skincare. This is our cereal dispenser in which you can use to store different types of cereals. For example, your Ndengu or you can choose to store your rice. You simply Pour your dengu into the dispenser and press the button. The cereal dispenser can hold up to 8 kgs of any cereal. I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can use our products to organize your fridge. Come with me. Here we can see that everything has just been placed anywhere and the fridge is completely disorganized. This is especially bad for your food because your food is exposed to bacteria. Let me show you how our products at M and Home and Interiors can transform your fridge. As you can see, all of our produce is now in our safe acrylic containers, meaning they will last longer and bacteria is unable to get into your produce. Up here we have also put our eggs in our egg container and managed to create space for more things such as yogurt or refreshable drinks. Below we have also put our meat in the containers. This is especially good for meat as once you open the meat the liquid from the meats cannot leak into your fridge, meaning it's easier to clean. For the cabbage, we have sealed it with clean film and now it's safe for bacteria. You can either choose to do it like this or cut it up and put it in one of our containers. As you can see, our products have managed to transform the fridge from a disorganized to an organized, aesthetically pleasing way. This is why you should consider shopping at MN Home and Interiors. Spot is the segment that inspires our interior decorating styles. We work with specialists who are available to hold your hand and turn your home into a cozy haven. It's my absolute pleasure to be part of major groundbreaking events on upcoming evolving trends and opportunities available in the sector. Next, highlights of the open day held at Zaria village. Let's see how the event unfolded. Today's event was organized to give a Christmas treat to our customers and to welcome new customers to Zaria, to see the progress that we've made and to see the available properties because we believe the best treat you can give yourself this Christmas is grab yourself a product at Zaria Village. They should expect to get our Christmas discounts of 5% for cash and we can extend that is if you buy during this Christmas period. We have several partners, uh, we are working with KCB as our financing partners, Stan Big Bank, CBA. We are working with the Property Show to help people know that our property is there and it's available. Uh, we are working with uh, people who are providing for us other amenities like building services, 
uh, biodigesters, all these are the ones partnering to ensure we create the kind of premium estates that we are looking forward to. We are very excited because we've had a very, very good turnout. Uh, as you can see, the tent is full, people are really engaging us and we are excited about that. We are happy that our customers, the ones who've already bought, have gotten brief and uh, about the progress. They have had all their questions and uh, updates. So they are, we are very happy, we are satisfied that we got what we wanted. Overview of Zaria village is the kind of estate that you would want to live in. It is the kind of estate where we are not promising to deliver roads. You can see for yourself, the roads are cabro paved already. Street lights, you can see water, fiber, and electricity are already uh, done. And the project is just ready for you to buy your plot and build and we are there to support you throughout the journey. So we would really welcome anybody who is looking for a premium estate to build, to come to Zaria village. On top of that, uh, we have three zones. We have the green gem towards the, the gate area. We have the golden rod, up, and we have the gray pearl next to River Mokoyo. Each uh, area has its own pricing. Green gem goes for 8.4 million, golden pearl 8.6, and Grey Pearl is going for 8.5 million. So you're welcome to choose a plot at your favorite location. Here on the property show, we pride ourselves to be the first to release new upcoming opportunities in the sector. And if you're about to launch a project, Give us a call and let's engage. Coming up, happy home ownership stories from those who have tried and tested the bittersweet fruits of climbing the property ladder. A lot of people who are watching you and loving your home would be wondering, where can I begin? What would I do? And what are the red flags that yeah. should they look out for? Yeah. Should they get into constructing their own homes? Yeah. The one thing I would say, the first most important thing is work with professionals. Work with professionals, work with professionals because you, there are many unknowns in building and construction and these professionals are trained to do their job. And the other thing is that do not leave them to work on their own. You have to manage the process. So it's you your have to house. Be in charge. You have to be in charge. You actually become like the contractor, the number one contractor, then there's a professional contractor. Because things could go wrong, teams can fight at site. I mean, there's a lot that can happen in one day at a site. So your eyes have to be on the ground. Yeah? Then the other thing is that um, it's a process. Your finances will get finished at some point. Uh, so build whenever you can. If your finances are down, stop building. Give yourself a month or two to come back. Come back, continue building, and keep going. You just have to keep going. In every home, yeah. what's so exciting is the finishes. Let's talk about your beautiful finishes. How was that journey? Wow. So my finishes were made possible by a designer. She worked with me. She was advising me on different things. I had my own ideas of a fireplace. She came and said, no, we're going to do it like this. I had my own idea of bathrooms. I had my own idea of kitchen. But she really did try and guide me in the right direction. I think um, having a designer is very important because they, they sort of bring your dream to life. You know, and they, they add a sparkle. And they add a sparkle. I must say this lady added a sparkle. We found out things that we didn't even know existed. We wanted a different kind of skirting. She managed to do it. We wanted a different kind of feel in the kitchen. She managed to do it. And I think that's the most important person. Okay, so the professionals are important, but the finish, because the finishing will hide everything that was not done well. The plastering, the tiling. It's fantastic how much people can convert a structure into a real home by just doing the right finishes.
well maybe not advice as such per se but i would like to talk to people my age right some three pointers that i've always tried to live by right one i would say challenge yourself right there is this uh, guy that i like uh, reading about it uh, richard uh, branson he's from the owner of this virgin group right one of the biggest group in the world yeah? this guy says that his greatest motivation is him challenging himself so i'm looking at it and i'm saying why can't i do it let's all do it let's just challenge ourselves to do it it's simple right and then two take that risk i always say take the risk you never know the outcome of your efforts if you don't actually do it and then lastly which is very important for me finding good people good counsel people you know who are going to help you you are who you are with you know so if you must go the right route find the good people who are able to to advise you look through the right channels if you have to go through property show like i did from when your campus and keep dreaming and keep challenging yourself then that's what you should do find good people When you're thinking of home ownership, you have to think at the level your family is at. If you have a young family of school-going kids, you have to think of where they'll be going to school, so the home should be easily accessible to schools. You have to think of access to amenities that you want your children to have access to. You have to think of your commute to work, because are you having a quantity life or a quality life where you are spending so much time on traffic so that you get to that dream house on big space, or you would settle for maybe an apartment in a more near a location where you have easy access to schools, to hospitals, to work and the rest. And for me, convenience overrides everything. My parting shot is um, you will never really have enough money to do whatever you want to do. So start with what that you have at that particular time. Get what you can. I always tell my friends, for instance, if, even if your dream is to live in Karen or Runda, you can always acquire a house in Umoja and rent it out. It will be giving you revenue even as you are renting a house at your, at your preferred location. So get motivated, think of what you can do and start out that. You can actually use whatever you have acquired to build up over time. Let me conclude by saying a big thank you. Yes, thank you to you, our viewers. To those who have found time to visit our offices, drop us an email, call, and for many who have engaged me everywhere, I'm grateful for your questions and compliments. And lastly, thank you for trusting me and the team to find you the right home, investments, turn your plot into a dream home, and for allowing us to point you in the right direction. I also want to thank all our partners for believing in this vision and for their supportive role. This conversation continues on our social media handles. Happy Christmas, enjoy the festive season, and see you in the new year. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri! Oh,